What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another Marvel Future Fight video. So in this one we're going to be trying out a Weapon Hex here against the new Giant Boss Raid. So yeah, I was quite happy with how she performed so I was just kind of trying out different teams and I had my screen recorder up and um, yeah, Weapon Hex performed a little bit better than I thought so uh, we're going to go ahead and show that here in this video. So this is the team that I used. So we have uh, Wasp for her leadership and then also her tier 2 passive because removing those debuffs is actually very important for the uh, uh, giant boss raid or it just it helps a lot so you can beat it of course without a uh, debuff leadership but it just it makes it a lot smoother and then uh, Coulson here we just have as a support to get that extra damage boost for weapon hex so let's go ahead and take a look here at weapon hex so you can see what uh, kind of build I have going on for her so yeah we have uh, her at level 70 so I did fully level her up and for her gears I do have them at level 25 so I did fully uh, level up all of her potential in terms of level cap and gear. Uh, we only have ignore defense Uru on her, so I don't have any energy attack Uru or crit damage or crit rate Uru on her, so I can definitely still um, improve her a little bit. So now let's go ahead and take a look at these skills here. I did put them all to um, level 6 just because um, I was trying to max, well not max her out, but I was having some fun playing around with her, so I figured I'd just uh, get everything leveled up on her and I had the gold to spare. And now for the Isolate set, we do have Overdrive on her. It is not fully awakened, it's just stage 4. Um, but that extra attack, or the extra crit rate and crit damage does help since she does have low uh, native crit rate and crit damage. Or at least mine does. Um, and then the Ovalisk here, we have a Immune to Guard Break with a 180 proc. The Immune to Guard Break is very important for uh, Weapon Hex here because you do not want to get Guard Broken out of that 5th skill because that is where a lot of your damage is going to be coming from. And then of course the damage proc just really helps for these boss fights. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at her details here so you can see her stats. So we have uh, only 34% uh, crit rate, 140 for her uh, crit damage, and then ignore defense still isn't even uh, capped out, but it's very close, so it's not going to make that big of a difference being off by only like 2% there. And then we do have max uh, skill cooldown, and you can kind of see her stats here for the energy attack and physical defense, uh, energy defense, and HP. Well, actually, let's go ahead and whoops, uh, drag Colson over here. Yeah, so now you can see there without Wasp's uh, leadership, she only has um, 15k or 15 and a half uh, thousand energy attacks. So it went down a little bit. So that's kind of her base uh, kit right here is what she is looking like. So now we'll go ahead and move this back over. And then just to show you everything, I will show you my cards. Uh, my cards aren't anything too special yet. I've had very, very bad luck rolling cards. Um, so I've had these same cards for a very long time. But this is the uh, stats that I'm getting. It's still um, pretty nice overall because I do have 35% all attack. But I would really like to get that physical and energy attack up. So yeah, that's just to kind of show everything here. So you kind of know what I'm working with when you see the uh, gameplay. So let's go ahead and hop right into that gameplay clip of Hex or Weapon Hex uh, taking down Master Mold. All right, so here we are at the fight here with uh, Master Mold, and I did just jump in with a public lobby. So these are just two random players. We do have a tier three cap there to help us out, and then just a tier two uh, Deadpool to hopefully do some work for us as well. So we're just gonna hop right in here and start taking care of these initial uh, sentinels at the start here so that we can uh, start targeting Master Mold after we clear the, what is it, three, four waves of, uh, of sentinels. I think it's four waves because we have three waves of three sentinels and then just one bigger sentinel and then we can finally start doing damage to uh, Master Mold here. So, yeah, pretty much just take care of them and then get ready to fight Master Mold. And then when you're fighting Master Mold, you just have a few things to uh, kind of look out for. There's that sweep right there, which is actually really annoying because uh, it just it will, as you can see right there, pull you right out of your skill and just push you to the uh, side of the map there. So it kind of just cancels out your skill, whether you have uh, damage immunity or not. I'm pretty sure I think you need to have um, invincibility up because all damage immune, I don't think, will... Uh, interrupted. So now we're just starting our uh, DPS here. So as you can see, Weapon Hex, when she gets that damage proc on her fifth skill, is actually doing uh, pretty considerable damage to uh, Master Mold. So it's quite nice. So she works really well as a 
um, as like your main DPS character, and she also has great survivability just from her passive heal, and then also her little uh, summon there helps as well, uh, get you some extra healing, and yeah, we're cutting through it quite nicely here. We have the tier 3 uh, Captain America really helping us out, doing some work for us, but the other guy uh, with the Luna Snow, the tier 2 Deadpool, and I believe you brought in Loki. I'm not sure why I kept him in. I, I was thinking that that Deadpool might have been tier 3. Um, but anyway, he dies quite quickly in this, because I don't even think he lasts until the, um, for, or the second stage of Master Mold here, which we're about to get to once he stands up and starts doing, um, like all the round pounds and stomping and everything right there. So there we go. Getting to the 41 bars, which triggers the next phase, and I always like to run to the very back of the... Uh, map here so that I don't get hit by that uh, punch right there, which I think is what just took out the other guy. Oh no, he, he's, he's still alive there. Uh, but now we switch back to uh, Hex 20, or Weapon Hex and uh, start with our DPS again. So I noticed that fighting Master Mold, your like Obelisk procs, they don't seem to be as consistent. So my damage proc, it seems like he has like, I don't know, reduced. Uh, ability accuracy or something like that because my damage procs were happening a lot less consistent in this um, giant boss raid than any other game mode like with with all my characters not just um, uh, weapon hex here so yeah that was really hurting my DPS because a lot of times my uh, damage proc would just not go off and then I'd miss the damage proc on my fifth skill so I would definitely not be getting uh, the full damage out of it but as you can see there, he just finished doing that kind of attack where he puts his uh, hands in the ground there and he starts um, kind of shooting up energy from the ground with those purple circles. And I have noticed that they don't actually pierce unless I got a glitch or something here because um, I used the damage immunity on my fit skill and I stood in those purple circles and they actually did start shooting up the blast of energy from the ground and all I got was this uh, message in the orange text saying damage immunity or immune to damage or whatever it actually says or yeah damage block um, and I took no damage from the purple attacks so I'm not sure if I was just experiencing a glitch there or if you can actually avoid the purple um, circle damage using damage immunity or invincibility of course but they pierce iframes maybe I'm thinking that might be what they do, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but anyway, we're down to just me and that uh, tier 3 Captain America right now. The other guy's been long gone, and you can tell um, who's left in the party by the co-op skill. You see how many uh, circles are next to it for how many active players there are. So you can kind of notice if someone got disconnected or if someone has um, lost all of their characters, then you'll know based on the amount of uh, people are, that are needed for the co-op skill. So I did have run out of the way for that uh, purple circle, uh, circle attack right there, but I could have sworn that I stood in it at one point uh, with my damage immunity up and I didn't take any damage. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just what I have noticed so far. So now uh, we're getting through it quite nicely here. Definitely having that extra damage from the uh, Captain America is really helping out because I don't think Weapon Hex can uh, solo this. Her damage is really nice, but I don't think she can solo this. And her survivability is really good because as you can see here, uh, we were never really in any danger of actually dying. Like the most I've lost was like 30% of my HP at one point. Um, as you can see here, when he went into this um, kind of recovery phase, I was not getting any damage procs. Literally no damage procs from like three full skill rotations. And boom, I got the damage proc immediately after he regenerated the health. I was kind of annoyed about that. I was like, where are my damage procs? So yeah, he managed to recover that health back, which is not good because now we have an extra, what, it's like 10 or 12 bars that he gets that we have to deal with. Um, oh, and right here the audio did cut out from my screen recorder, or the in-game audio, so I'll just hopefully put in some background um, music or sound right here so you don't just hear me talking into the void with just a silent background. Uh, but anyway, we're continuing our assault here on Master Mold, and I'm just letting the whole um, 
clearer play out for you guys so you can kind of see the kind of I don't know unluckiness or luckiness with my damage procs and stuff like that because I definitely think that I would have been able to clear this a lot easier if I was getting my damage proc more consistent because a lot of times I was either not getting the damage proc on the fifth skill just because um, like I said it seems like the damage proc hop happens a lot less often in this game mode or it'd be happening on the fourth skill which the fourth skill still does good damage but the fifth skill just does a lot more damage so you definitely notice it and we do end up losing the I think it was right there yeah we just lost the tier 3 um, Captain America when he did the uh, what you call it your power is mine thing so I'm not really sure exactly what happens with that uh, your power is mine but it seems like either you take damage from your allies so your allies can hit you or he gets uh, reflect and your damage is reflect uh, reflected back at you because I've seen that sometimes and I literally just get one shotted like my characters just instantaneously die and I did notice one time when I was playing uh, one of these raids here and I had a tier 3 Thor as one of my allies that when he did that your power is mine thing and the um, and your screen turns purple is when you know you're being affected by it so if you have a debuff leadership then it will get rid of it or in this case having wasp right here will get rid of it as well so there we go the purple circles are on the ground right there and i did have my damage immunity up as you can see from my fifth skill and i took no damage right there from it so that's why i'm thinking that it does not pierce um, damage immunity or invincibility but it looks like it will pierce um, iframes if you are in the purple circle when it starts shooting those kind of beams of light up so here we go again well I moved out of it this time but uh, hopefully you saw it that time but anyway as I was saying about the um, your power is mine thing um, the tier 3 Thor he did not have any debuff leadership and um, he used that and I noticed that when that Thor did his fifth skill um, that I was taking damage and I saw the um, uh, text above my character's health bar saying pierce so it looks like Thor's um, skill was hitting me and piercing my invincibility and was actually damaging me and I think it might have actually killed me in that run so you do need to be very careful when he does that um, so yeah it, either it does both or one or the other I'm not sure if it reflects the damage um, and your allies do damage to you or if it does one or the other but either way you can definitely get one shotted pretty easily and here we go we're finally down to the last little bit here so yeah it took the entire time but weapon hex was able to clear this so that's why I was quite impressed and definitely could have been a quicker clear if my damage procs were a little more on point and also if we had another ally helping us out because that tier 3 cap did do a lot of work for us as you can see here uh, weapon Hex did do most of the damage, and then we have that cap coming in next, and then the other guy just didn't really do much of anything. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this clear of Master Mold with uh, Weapon Hex. And yeah, I'll probably do this with a few more uh, characters that I have, but I can only really do this with some of my characters that are really well built, so I'm not going to be able to do this with a ton of characters, but I have plans to do it with some other characters as well. So yeah, let me know uh, what characters you guys want me to try, if you have any ideas, or if you found a character works surprisingly well for you and you just want to let me know, then feel free to put that in the comments below. But that's going to be it for this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and of course I will catch you in the next one.